Food and Drug Administration has been quick to go after the producers of pomegranates, of cherries, of any product that is in any way associated with a therapeutic effect. In case of pomegranates, pomegranate juice, antioxidants in pomegranates are associated with various positive health effects. Palm Wonderful, uh, makers of the pomegranate uh, products in the United States, principal maker, communicates that information to American consumers. And the FDA and the Federal Trade Commission become involved. And the Federal Trade Commission goes after them for deceptive advertising, hopes to destroy them because they had the audacity to communicate to the American public the potential health effects of pomegranate juice. The same is true of many different kinds of foods. They've gotten a two hundred and two and a half million dollar fine against oregano for making statements about how it could be useful in your health. Made arguments against prunes and against cranberries. All of these things that people in their common sense could use to their benefit, the FDA is putting barriers up in front of. The walnut growers are not permitted to tell you about the benefits of walnuts. The people who manufacture nutrients are not permitted to tell you what the nutrients do in a clear and unambiguous and truthful method. They ban absolutely the right to make treatment claims for any non-drug product and in this way they keep people largely ignorant at the point of sale so that they are dependent upon drugs as their only means of achieving a therapeutic outcome. The FDA doesn't want you to know that foods like oranges and celery have anti-cancer elements or that you could drink raw broccoli juice and actually prevent breast cancer tumors or prostate cancer tumors, especially if you combined it with other nutrients. Whatever the United States wants, pretty much Codex goes along with. And what does the United States want? The United States wants to push GMO crops on us, to poison us with melamine, to poison our foods, our meats with ractopamine, uh, let alone fluoride and all the other poisons in our environment, and they accumulate in the human body. And so who's protecting us from that? Uh, Codex is supposed to do that, but in effect what they're doing is giving a free pass to a lot of the industry to push these uh, poisons through.